Greetings, YouTube. I have dreaded this video because I feel like if I had a full stomach, of which I kind of do because I just recently ate a late lunch, TMI, right? Uh, I might lose my, uh, my lunch. I might throw it all up because I was warned that these uncollected offers were pretty ugly. Now, for beginners... You know, like if you're starting an account, this kind of thing is fine. A four-star Nexus, a four-star Awakening Gym Crystal. Uh, though it probably should be a generic Awakening Gym for five bucks. A Grandmaster Nexus Crystal, we've seen that all month in the Disney Plus deal. But, uh, man, ten bucks for 3,500 five-star shards. For this week, that, that should be 10,000 five-star shards. We've seen that in the past. They have nerfed these offers to the ground for these summoners and i don't get it because these are summoners who kabam wants to grow the game with so if anything you want to give them ridiculous deals the opposite is true so summoners watching this if you have units the gifting crystals if they're anything like last year's gifting crystals are the greatest value ever for newer players because there is no progression based gifting as of 2020 so you can get all these insanely good items that it would take years to get in the game just for spending 300 units on a greater gifting crystal. It's crazy. But this is where you're reminded that progression really does matter in the eyes of Kabam. Four star rank one to rank two rank up gym. That thing's not worth 10 cents, nevertheless 10 bucks. Two Grandmaster Nexus, oh my gosh. Now we're going to the $30 offer. Three tier one alpha, what a weird number. Four tier four basic. This is the normal price that these summoners can take a four star to rank five or a five star to rank three. They've completely downgraded it other than the tier two alpha. I will say this. The tier two alpha is solid because five tier two alpha for $30 is less than $10 a piece. And that is about what they charge these players during the year. So the tier two alpha is a decent value, but you're still telling me you can't give them a five-star worth? I mean, this should be at least 10,000 five-star shards here. It really should be for 10 bucks. The amount of nerfing, and I cannot say this enough, that has been done for these deals is crazy. All right. Black Panther's Treasure, still for $50. Not good enough for a five-star basic. Three tier four class kettle selectors. That's the only time I can say that I'm jealous of those as a Thronebreaker player. Because they gave us tier four class catalyst crystals and nerfed the heck out of the $30 offer with the six stones. That's for a separate video as I continue my analysis of past deals to compare them with this year's. Four legendary crystals? Who the hell cares? There's going to be a bunch of four stars. Grandmaster Nexus crystals, whatever. That's the common theme. So you have to go all the way to the $100 of which you'll get, uh, I guess, the top is a five-star Awakening Gem, two five-star Nexus, a five-star Featured. How many... Um, I can't tell how many six stones. Five plus fives? Maybe 25? Let me... Um, let me check that. Yeah. Five plus fives, 25. Five Tier 2 Alpha, five Grandmaster Nexus, the million gold... The tier six basic. The hundred dollars is fine. You know, that's like a C plus value, but everything else is like a D or an F. Like, I feel like most of these, especially some of these older ones, I feel like they're making me blind. Are we all turning into Daredevil slowly? Hopefully at least with his sensory overload. And then we have these things. For the same price, right? A bunch of 1,000 and 2,000 unit deals. And eventually, for 5,000 units, you can get 6-star shards and a 5-star nexus. What? If you are trying to become Cavalier this weekend, I cannot say this enough. Don't buy these absolute garbage offers. If you're spending the units... And I really don't think you should spend many. Invest them in revives to become Cavalier. And look, I know for some players it's easier said than done because most of your best champions are four stars and you can't bring them past uh, Act 5. 
Okay, bring them in Act 6. But at the same time, you're going to be blowing so many units worth of trash. If you've got 3,000 units, save them for 10 Greater Gifting Crystals. You'll get so much more value than this. It's crazy how bad these offers are. It's just, it's just ridiculous. Alright, so we've got this Advanced Summoner Bundle, Epic Ascendant Crystals. Epic, yeah, right. Wrong word, Epic. Half a five star three. The legendary Nexus crystals are kind of cool, but for a thousand units, eh, probably for more like 500. Five star six stones. That would, that actually helps for a thousand. I like the summoner bundle three, like objectively speaking, that's not, that's not the worst deal. The advanced summoner bundle four, five tier two alpha and half a tier five basic for 2000 units. That's trash. Once you become cavalier, you're going to have access to so much better than this uh, in the glory store. So. Yeah, that's, uh, and, and no tier 4 class catalyst selectors, just crystals. Two mythic crystals. This thing is so bad. For 2,000 units, you're, no. Give him a, at least half a 6 star for this. Ugh. It's another blinded by the light offer. Oh boy, but this thing looks like the freaking Mona Lisa compared to this thing. Three four-star Nexus crystals? Ugh, I mean, the six stones are good, but four-star Nexus at this point? Really? Really? And then five-star Awakening Gem. That's a generic. 20 five-star plus five six stones. 500,000 gold, 5,000 units. Okay. And, uh, and then the next one... A tier 5 basic, 4 tier 2 alpha, a 5 star rank up gem, uh, I guess that's a generic. And mm. Again, that, that's okay if it's like 2,000 units, but for 5,000 units, it's just a scam. Alright, not even a 6 star crystal worth of shards for this 5,000. 5,000 units, not even one 6 star. Nexus Grandmaster crystals, 2 5 star Nexus. For 5,000 units? You know how much content you can clear with that? What is going on? And then the last one. The same deal that Thronebreakers get the 2020, essentially, Wish Crystal that never came out a year and a half ago in the summer of 2020 when it was supposed to. Uh, instead, you finally get a 6-star, which you'll probably get a 6-star Groot for 600 bucks. 5-star featured the normal amount of trash gold for 15 a six star for fifty. A six star for five hundred dollars. Six star group for five hundred dollars. There are not enough bad words to say. I, this is a uh, family friendly channel, so we like to keep things PG. But uh, I just, I'm sorry, uncollected Cavalier members thought they were uh, screwed over, but at least they had enough resources and a path to become Thronebreaker, assuming they had completed Act Six. If you haven't completed Act 6 yet, that's not on Kabam, that's on you. I mean, you just gotta do it. But uh, taking a 6 star to rank 3 is normally what keeps people from Thronebreaker, and there is the Tier 5 Class Catalyst Fragment Selectors this year for the first time between the $50 and $100 offer. Though a lot of you aren't spending, so you may not care. Um, wow. Spend the units on progressing so you never have to see this trash again. You'll thank me later. Have a good rest of your weekend. I'm going to go lie down. These things made me very, very woozy.